Sambanani, I'm still busy talking about something. Ne? Uh, mm-hmm. I come from an era. Please go check out the previous part. Uh, the first part, mm-hmm. especially Monawa um, Basadi. And sometimes just the irresponsibility of Banna, but for the better part of the time, Kibwaka Basadi. Guys, Yazini, we are in the last days. Ne? And in the last days, there is a moral, a general, a moral turpitude uh, roaming the sky, uh, frequenting the earth, um, that is described very uh, poignantly in Second Timothy 3, where it is written that in the last days, men are going to be lovers of themselves, lovers of money, boastful, proud, disobedient, unthankful, unholy, uncaring, unfeeling, slanderous, disobedient um, to parents, having a form of godliness, denying the power thereof, always learning, never coming to a knowledge of truth, um, have nothing to do with such people. Of course, I am paraphrasing, and some of the uh, things they might have left out. Also, in Romans 1, there is a description of a general moral turpitude, and it is also written in God's Word, in the book of in Genesis, that um, prior to the Lord decimating the earth, with a flood before the deluge it is written that the thoughts and intentions of mankind were evil continually so like bad thoughts wicked wicked um mindset can cause a great deal of damage and devastation the bible it is also written in the book of james sorry sorry in the book of james it's written therein that the tongue as a great and an inc- incredible evil, charting the course of a man's entire life to the flames of hell. And if you don't brill this thing in your mouth uh, called lelemi, udwe tola liko di hele ngosi tibaro fitle juang ning kanja ning oba wena mo ukel wumsalwane. Aba guys, yezi, I've got this trend all throughout my life. I, I call it a, a wave. It, it's literally got like a, a frequency wave where there are peaks and troughs when it comes to introduction to Abanganabasha. Uh, Chiquitas, you know, it's always the women. Like, I, I can't blame men. I literally cannot give men this issue. I'm not the kind of my issues. Well, I'm not a leo. The issue, you're okay. All right. Peak and trough. Peak and trough. Peak and trough. Move on. It'll blame me. Okay. Where I meet a new girl and we are thick as thieves. Yes, in Nikumnandi, see a celebrator, we are jumping up and down on the spot like a kangaroo on a beach ball, uh, frankly, just like ransacking Unkum to the way since when the two of us. Nis jail with your lang to the best. Lang to Lomushomongani, law agazonki betrayal, law uzo variety, law uzo na uzo van self control, law uzo, you know what I mean? And I, I literally I tell myself for Kitozi Mona, I have found a gem of a Mgani footy. We have so much in common and we can relate the and happy Razwan. So Rutabar leading to Mbufai, Chikiras walking together, and everywhere we go, people might even think we're sisters, like type set up thing. Otole Cheri Israelu, Imbem Benjincha, we just all come to Bulim on a Hemoko. You're my best friend. She's a real bad lady. Uh, you know what I mean? Mm. You've been thinking you can sing best friend with that cheeky. Um, and then just when you are like, she's so bad that I can't even take that cheek nowhere. Just when you're singing that praising, this like singing her praises, you lead lating. Basically, a changer from night to from day to night. Aku change la. It's over na how it's going. You literally go into your archives to put the horror. Nyanza ni. You know what did I say? What did I do? Kitu let's lenga. Kwa kaho first time. Mtu na yezara to overnight. So kihanga calculator ki retrace my steps 24 hours back. Kulo figure out the why my best friend that's a real bad girl got her own money. Like this chick that's so bad that I can't take her nowhere. That's cheeky. What bomba? Just in trying to trace it. How hono ho kara ru yezara hizing. Mood swing. Overnight, I could change it. I could feel attitude. I could. I have had. I could count them perhaps like maybe by six in total out of all the women. You know, when it comes to the 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 game, so the girls, uh, usually you have one chick in the scheme that you're super tight with in comparison to everybody else. So out of all of my conglomerate of Abangani that I have had, I have had about six that were my best friend. She a real bad. I got her own money. Like what we were never like the birds of a feather. Peas in a pod. Don't nobody tell me nothing about this chick. Do you know what I'm saying? Eh. And all of them, how can I get a little one? All of them, ka, ka, ka. Starting from high school, starting from high school, ka, 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 ka. And going into university, going into uh, corporate, etc. Like chicks that, well, she was so big that I just can't take that chick nowhere. Uh, 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 no, I don't go there. Like, I never get in an environment. No, 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 no. Just because of the fact that it's so hard to find such a good friend. So I envy your relationship.
Mundo njalo you would imagine but kanguti they found a gem in umgani and then and then they go cold. Women can likely relate and it's unfortunate because they also are great hypocrites in that. While you can nod your head modu zing thing, you also in and of yourself likely have done that to a woman. The Bible says, guard your heart, for from it flows the issues of life. Kau get the test to see if you're in the faith. Look within to see if I wouldn't do bolile. Every so often, especially when you get tight, no muntu, ngoba ubatanda, the ubatanda ngakona, you start to automatically develop in jefela, a spirit of jealousy. You want to compete. You want to be better and what have you. So the closer you get to a person, the more likely you are to just break them, decimate them, shatter them to pieces, and kind of in jack. You know what I mean? And this spirit of competition that, that ultimately rises up precisely because we got tight. Precisely because we got close. If you don't look at it, because I have had about six or seven of such women ghost me suddenly go funny overnight. Do you understand? And then I move on. And then after two years, my new best friend, she a real bad girl, got her own money. I have had way too many best friends. The last one that I had, just before I lost everything, on and awful. We started out really tight school high school. About weird in the transition late high school, early university, and then we reconnected again about tight. Like when we were working in corporate, and then and then what about weird again? I remember going her dad had passed away my best friend I mean goodness gracious as the guys I was supposed like that girl really tight to a point where we might as well have grown up next to each other next to each other so go I was supposed to be up and down looking at one of those people and I'm more there for her younger sister or more than her I felt so strange and out of place you know when you were at somebody else else's house and they don't make it go out of their way to make you feel comfortable like on some will come this way now and to this girl floating around you feel awkward you feel out of place you feel like this flower on the wall that everybody can see is just this oh it's a hello sister okay okay and you just stand there feeling all awkward i was there for about an hour and a half i ultimately made an excuse to leave because she made me feel weird i was eventually able to be a little bit better when one of our mutual friends came make it like this mutual friend and I noticed her believe relationship the way that she was with this mutual friend who was like I said not her best friend but just another one of the girls that we were tight with and I was like why are you treating let's say her name was Rafilwe why are you treating Rafilwe when we were toddlers like our parents by Izana that's how tight we were so essentially the death of your dad is bereaving even to me because he was more like an uncle and you were treating this girl she is the best comfort for you when your father dies when it obviously it was supposed to be me one chita so weird and this chick ended up betraying the living daylights out of me and everything and the coldness of her person when I lost in my life I was like hey, Batum, what's going on it was the loss of yes I, I like to say I lost a job and people lost their minds it was the loss of my the loss of my job my career that showed me the biggest and baddest flames from females so when i say trauma ptsd when it comes to the sherry that i have just met or then started out and then all of a sudden they flip they do a 180 overnight understand i have trauma because i watched the same women who were supposed to be there for me pat me on the back comfort me when i was going through rubbish watch me be pushed over a precipice, fall to my demise, and literally wait for the invitation to my funeral. Anger is overwhelming. Fury is a flood. But who can stand before jealousy? Do you understand? Those are the scriptures. Next part.